these Python tricks will save you time, make your code way cleaner, and honestly, I wish someone had shown me these tricks way earlier. Hello coders, welcome to my channel. I am David, your guide to mastering programming. Sometimes you need to assign a value and check it at the same time. A common example is when you want a user to keep entering input until they type something like quit. In that case, you might write something like this. While x equals input and x is different than quit, I want to print x x. But as you can see, I have some red outline, which means I can't write the code like this. You must use something called Walrus operator. Wireless operator is the same as equal, but before the equal sign, you have colon. As you can see, now everything is correct. It's actually named that because if you tilt it 90 degrees to the right, it kind of looks like a Walrus face with tasks. But if you want x to be equal to input and not if input is different than quit, you need to here write parentheses. And now this will indeed store the input in x. Now when I run this code and here write, for example, 12, as you can see, 12 is printed. It's not quit. It's also printed, but when I write quit, my code stops. I'm sure you've written a really big number in Python before and then had to count the digits just to make sure it's correct. I've got a super handy trick for you to make that way easier. If you have a big number like this, big, you can simply write underscore to separate the zeros or numbers. It doesn't have to be zero. It will work even if it's two here. This way, you know which number it is but Python also treats it as a regular number. For example, small, and here write a thousand, and I can even add this to print big plus small. As you can see, it printed the result. If you're still using if else to determine which function to run, here's a smarter way to run functions instantly using just a dictionary. For example, if you want to have add function here, and you just want to return x plus y, and you have another function, for example, multiply, I will call it mul x comma y, and return the multiplication of two numbers, you can create a dictionary which will store these functions as values and these operators in string format as keys. For example, operator dictionary and here write plus and the value for plus should be add function x comma y. Then if I want mule, I can write mule, oh not mule, but actually this and write mule x comma y. Oh, you don't need to write these parentheses here. You just have to write the name of your function. And now I can print operator. And for example, if I want multiplication, I will pass star and here because this will become a function that I passed as value, which is mule. So this will be exchanged for mule and here, what parameters mule should have? It should have x and y parameter. So here I will write 3, 5. 3 multiplied by 5 is 15. So if this works correctly, I should see 15 on my output. And 15 is printed, which means that this actually works. You can also write a whole expression with this. For example, if you want expression like 3 multiplied by 15 plus 3, this should be 18. I can write, I already have the first part, now I need the second, but this should be one of the 
arguments that I pass to add function. So here I will write three, and before all of these, I need to write operator and pass plus. And I'm missing one parenthesis here. So I expect to see 18. As you can see, 18 is printed. In this way, I didn't have to write if and else statements to check which function to run. I simply wrote inside this dictionary an operator that I want and the numbers that I want. If you liked this video, check out my last video on Python mixins. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one.